we're making our soda ash mixture. We got one gallon of water to one cup of soda ash. Put it in our uh, container. We're just going to take this, shake it up vigorously. We got another gallon of soda. Here we have our hat stripped down, ready to go. We got a bucket we like to put our hat on top of. Set that up. We got it inside a bucket, and we're just going to take our spray here of soda ash and start spraying the hats. Let it sit for an hour. We'll let it sit for an hour after we thoroughly spray it. Let the soda ash saturate into the cotton hat. And then we'll start with the next process. We'll get our shaving cream ready. So here's the breakdown for today's video, what you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a cotton item. Here we got a cotton baseball hat. We washed out. We stripped it down. Right now, there's no soda ash. Uh, as you've seen in the previous video, we made some soda ash. We put it into our soda ash bottle, spray bottle. And we're just going to spray this hat here. You say, well, what is this hat here? This is one of the hats we did previously with the shaving cream. And it didn't come out to our likings. It's not awesome. So we're actually going to redo it to show you, hey, if first time it don't work, try it again the second time. So basically what we're going to do is take our soda ash spray and spray it down real good. Let it soak in there while we're mixing up our uh, shaving cream. We also have some scrunchies that we're going to do, a couple dozen of them. But we're going to break it down. Uh, we have some dye. You can make dye. Use extra dye that you have. As you see here, we got a little bit of pink. We're going to use some of that. And this one here, there's a little bit of a plum uh, purple. So you're going to need your dyes, whatever selection you want. Here we actually use a whisk to whisk up the shaving cream. We got a plastic spatula to swirl it around, smooth it out. Uh, we got our gloves. And then we got our shaving cream. Uh, this one's sensitive, so if you're sensitive, use sensitive shaving cream. If you're not, you can use regular. This is extra thick. The only thing I advise on the shaving cream is, um, <clears throat> you know how you can get the gel stuff. If you want to get the foam, make sure it says foam. So when you spray it out, it's already foamed up to gel. You actually have to mix it up more. And here we got this plastic rod. You can use like a wooden dower or something but the only thing i advise against that is when you use something wooden you got to clean it the wood absorbs the dye so your next project and you might get it in that and you don't want that so we don't even use the wood this is actually plastic um good idea is you have got a broken hanger you can use a piece of the, the plastic hanger we're going to use it to make swirls as you'll see in the video when as we're moving along that's our basic setup for marbling with the shaving cream with our tie-dye stuff. Put our whipped cream into our container. I want to get it at least four to five inches in height. We're going to be doing some scrunchies in there. With our whipped cream and tie-dye. Sometimes you shake it up and get it all out. We're only going to use about half a can again. There you go. Take a whisk. Pretty good. So we get that consistency of uh, whipped cream. Since we're only doing scrunchies that are real thin, we don't have to have a high wall. So you do a lot of different. You can do a lot of different colors from one can as long as you got the colors you want. So this one here is pretty good. Here we're actually going to do 
So we're going to try to do red, white, and blue. Start with laying down our red, which is a Chinese red. Then we have our blue, it's a real nice heavy blue, cobalt blue. Cobalt blue, put a little bit in that. Dab it in there, and we already have the white. You can see, and then I'm just gonna swirl it. This one we'll do lightly, the other one we did a heavy because we want to cover up the darker colors underneath. much that's it I'm just gonna lay our scrunchies down Let's see one two three four five six got six in here comfortably Off my glove, take our spatula, whatever is left in here. Look, we're just going to fold it over. It's all right, we want the white in there, remember? Fold it in over the top. That's it. Let it sit for a day, wash it out. Hopefully, it'll be red, white, and blue. Because usually when you mix red and uh, blue together, you're going to get purple. But these two colors here seem to work good. Chinese red and cobalt blue. We've got our shaving cream. We followed the directions. We sh shook well, shake well. And we're just going to take our tub here. Fill it like halfway. about half a can all right there we go here's where uh, some tie dyers they add a little bit of water there and they mix it up we did it that way and we also did it without the water uh, we didn't really see any big difference but now we're just going to take this shaving cream and mix it up pretty good. Until we get like a cool whip consistency. Takes a few minutes. Take our spatula and just smooth it out. It's like making a cake almost. I'm just gonna smash it out. So we know our hat is like a light blue. So we want to pick the right colors because if we don't, we could just turn it all to brown, mud it up. So we're actually going to use. A green, emerald green, and we're also going to use our black. I don't know if you can see this. Let's put a little green here, over there. Stab it in there. Put a little, put a lot, whatever you want. Work with it. Here's some of our black. Now black, I would definitely take it easy on the black. Because black will overrun all the colors, so I'll just put that there, over there, over here, and there. Now we're just going to take our rod, just start swirling. You can use more than two colors, you can use one color. 
test it out, try them out, see what you like. As you're going to see on here, you can always fix it. I wanted the more, more black on here. I put some more black in there. Also run it this way, get a design going. See that? I'll go this way. I can see here just by looking at it, need a little bit more black in here. Even it out. So just a little drop will do it. As you see, you mix it in some more. Next, we'll be doing the scrunchies. is a little bit different. We got this pretty well mixed up. Just trying to make it conform the colors a little bit, so it's pretty good. And you don't have to mix it up this long. Like I said, I'm just trying to get a constant color through. So, you know, the hat's not going to be real bright in one spot and then dark in another so much. And what you want to basically do now is decide how you want to lay your hat down in there. You know, this is a little bit darker up here than the top down here, so we're actually going to lay the bill part down in the dark part like this. Just going to reach in here, push it down in there, pull it up, see it, back here, just going to take a little bit of this, put it on the hat. You see that? No big deal. And then I put it up on my rack. Let it sit for a day. We're ready to go. Here we could actually mix this up again. Maybe we we'll throw some scrunchies in it. I just folded that over. There's plenty of dye in there. Fold that over. I'm going to smush this out. We did before. I like the cake. A little bit of white there. I don't know if you can see that in there. Take a rod again. Swirl a little bit more. You know what? I'm going to add just a little bit more black. To give it a little bit of more pizzazz, you know, make it awesome. Like I said, you can do it with any colors you want. You know, as long as you use your prime colors, you can't go wrong. Anything other than that, you're experimenting. That'll do for that. What I'm gonna do is take a few of our scrunchies. I'm going to lay them right down in there. One, two, three, four, five, even six. I'll just push these down in there like that. Go back. Shaving cream, just cover it over. And there you have it. I'll let that sit in there for a day or two. Here we've got scrunchies. I think I actually have an example right here. Here's some purple ones that we did the other day. 
And uh, let's go out and do the washing process now. All right, so we got our next tub ready. Got our whisk, same thing, whisking it up. Thinking about what colors we're going to use. We want to use some of this extra dye that we have left over. Very little. Like I said you wanted a whipped cream uh, texture. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta do this a couple times. You want to add some water. Some people add water. This. And what I'm going to do with this, just lay it out so it's evenly done, nice and level. I think on this one, we're actually going to use some lavender. See, I just literally just throw it on there. Some plum, is which is darker. We're going to use our little leftover pink. Over there, over here, over here, over there, and in the middle. And about, we'll run a little bit of black through. We're straight up this way, straight back that way. I'm just going to mix it up. I'm liking the colors I see already. Just white on the side. Just mix it right in there. Look at that. Be awesome. Like I said, you can go this way. If you don't want to go in circles, you can just go around like that. Go that way with it. That's like a base sorta. Got a little bit of pink left. As well throw it in there. Rest of the plum. Why waste it? One final mix. Said so this will also make each scrunchie individually different. So it'll be unique. Be awesome. We'll go this way. And there you have it. We got our scrunchies. Let me get a glove on. Always wear a glove. You don't want to get the dye on your hands. It's a big mess. We got our scrunchies here. Just lay them down. Put them in. Push it down. Put it in. Push it down. Push it down. Usually we could do like six at a time. Could probably do more if we wanted to, but we did pow. Press it down. Take the glove off. Take our spatula. Just like to run it over everything. Looking can even just go like that. There you go. Save on your die. Got a little left over. Try some shaving cream tie-dye stuff. You can do bandanas, hats, scrunchies, socks, babies, onesies. Almost anything you do regular tie-dye, you can do it with the shaving cream. So let's go on outside and check out the final results. So this one here, we're going to use our prime colors. Yellow. Red. You could just leave it like this. And the yellow and the red mixed together would be an awesome orange color. And then we're going to add our blue, our turquoise. Which 
this does is wherever the blue hits the red should turn purple. Wherever the blue touches the yellow should turn green. We take our uh, rod. We're going to swirl it up. This time we'll go this way with it. This way a couple times. Then we'll go this way a couple times. Simple. Have our scrunchies. Talking about our scrunchies, our scrunchies are 100% cotton, stripped down, soaked in soda ash, spun out. Now we're just going to lay them down in there, press them down a little bit, grab the next one, press it down a little bit. If you wanted to, you could actually take the scrunchie and you see the design in the, the cream. Just lay it right down on top of there. Press it down a little bit. Our last one. Here. I like to do, like I said, just take a spatula, fold it over. As you can see on the die, it's still going to be cool, awesome. One last one. There you go. Let it sit for a day or so, wash it out. Using our prime colors, yellow, red, and blue. We'll get green, purple, and orange. The rainbow. Right here, I'll show you on this purple hat. You can see all the shaving cream still adhered to the hat. So we're just going to rinse it off, get all the SS off, soda ash. 